Hi guys, so today I want to film a Nicki Minaj inspired makeup tutorial and I know the video has been going for a long time but I feel like I want to try doing the super base makeup so if you want to see how it turns out stay tuned and I will link the picture I used down below I'm going to start off by using some Lucas Parpot Eye Mint on my lips because I've been a little dry lately and I just want them to be a bit soft for when I put my lipstick on I've just got some salad tape in the half and I'm going to place it round about here so it creates a nice sharp line for the makeup. I'm now going to take the Urban Decay Primer Potion and I'm going to place it on my eyelid just so it makes the eyeshadow last a long time and it'll make it stick very well. Some of the salad tape but that doesn't matter. Then I'm going to blend it onto my eye. I'm now using the shade Naked from the Naked One palette and I'm placing that into my crease. Do the same again on this eye. NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and then place that on my lid. This is an Inspire Makeup tutorial so I'm not going to use all the same colours that is used in the picture, I'm going to put a twist to it. I'm going to take the colour Fresh from the Electric palette and I'm going to place that colour all over my lid. And I'm using the brush that comes in the Naked palette because it is the cleanest one. And a lot of my brushes get dirty easily because I'm always doing makeup. If you didn't know, I do makeup at college and I do hair and media makeup, but I am going on to do, well, this September I'm going on to do special effects makeup and I'm excited about that because we get to make all the gory kind of things. And I'm so excited to start doing all the Halloween makeup tutorials. I think I'm going to post a few videos on them because they're my favourite ones to do, obviously, because that is what I want to go on to do. It doesn't matter if there's fallout because obviously we haven't done the foundation yet. I'm now going to take a fluffy brush and I'm just going to fluff it out just so it doesn't look very harsh. Using the same brush we used in the crease, I am then going to go in with the shade Book and I'm just going to put that into the outer V a tiny bit and then blend that into the crease as well. And then we're going to go back in with the fluffy brush and blend that out. In the photograph she doesn't use winged eyeliner so I think I'm just going to stick with a line and not wing it out and I'm going to use the Maybelline Eye Studio Lasting Drama Gel Eyeliner and that is in number one black. I'm going to get a tiny bit on the brush and then just dab it into my lash line because all we really want to do is to darken that up. I honestly think that this eyeliner is better than any of the other high-end ones because I've had this eyeliner for about um, I had the eyeliner for about four months and it had not dried up and I did leave the lid off it for quite a while. I'm going to build it up ever so slightly only because I'm wearing false eyelashes with this look and we don't want to be able to see the lash band. So ever so slightly I'm going. Now that I've built it up ever so slightly, I am just slowly going to peel this off. And it leaves you with a nice sharp line. I'm now going to use a Smashbox for to finish water primer and I'm going to... You can use a photo finish water primer as a primer or you can use it as a finish. 
So I'm going to use it as both today just so it lasts extra long. I'm using the Collection Concealer in shade One Fair and I'm using that where I need it. But I'm going to use, well to put to put it onto little red marks and spots I'm going to use my finger and not the actual applicator otherwise I'll contaminate it and then I'll end up with even more little spots and I don't want to get more because I'm trying to get rid of these. I'm going to use an Ashe Glow Foundation in shade Siberia but I do not have a pump yet as you can see so I'm just going to pour a tiny bit on the back of my hand and that is probably too much. I'm using a flat top foundation brush and it isn't really clean. I've only used it once but it will be okay just for now because it does the job. I'm using this foundation because it is a high coverage foundation and if we're going to be Nicki Minaj she has quite flawless skin so I want to try and get my skin to be as flawless as hers but somehow I don't think that's really gonna happen I'm now going to use a disposable spoolie and I'm going to brush through my eyebrows I'm just going to do my eyebrows how I normally have them. I'm using the um, Soap and Glory Archery Brow Tint and Precision Shaping Pencil in the shade Blonde. And I'm just going to brush the felt tip side through to create small little hairs. When, was, when I was in college that was the worst thing for me to do eyebrows. Don't know why, I just never have been able to get them symmetrical. Then I'm going to use the other side, which is a pencil, and I'm just going to fill them in. I'm not going to go over the shape we've just made either, just filling them in, just comb them through. Gets rid of some of the excess product as well if someone's gone a bit chunky. I'm going to set my foundation with the ELF HD powder. And I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury Film Bronze and Glow. I'm going to take my contour brush and I think I'm going to contour a bit more harshly than I normally would. It's a much better colour for me as well because I always used, I still use it occasionally, the sleek contour palette in light. but. I feel like it's a tiny bit too dark and this is perfect. So this lip liner is a lot darker than the colour we're going to be using but it doesn't really matter so we're just going to line our lips with the Max Factor lip liner in shade Rose. We use the L'Oreal Manga Mascara and if it did not film that and I'm not too sure it is because the camera decided it wanted to go to sleep because that is how rubbish the camera is. We are going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills lipstick, well liquid lipstick and that is, looks like this and it is in shade Unicorn. I'm also going to use the 
Eyelashes by In Vogue in number two. I've cut off the end of the eyelashes because they're a bit long and I am not going to film myself putting on the eyelashes because I am the worst eyelash applicator in the world. Like, so bad. I can put them on, but it just takes a while. I don't usually wear eyelashes, but I just feel as though you need them for this makeup look. So, this is a completed look and if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and then you could also subscribe if you wanted to. But anyway, thanks for watching. Bye!